Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining us once again to another Guzman's Boars and Angus video. Today's video is going to be an update on some of our babies that we've had so far. Uh, if you guys have been following us along, you guys know that we have started our kidding season. Uh, we're about two weeks in. Uh, so this is actually our second uh, doe that kitted. If you guys watched our last video, you guys know we actually had a little misfortune with our last um, doe that kitted. But before we get into it, I do want to say if you guys have been enjoying our videos, please hit that like button. Uh, comment down below what type of videos you want to, you want to see going forward. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out our website, GuzmanBoarsAndAngus.com. But as I said, um, these uh, this though actually kitted um, a about two weeks ago. Um, so she actually had her uh, babies on February thirteenth. So they are. Um, three to four weeks old already uh, at the time of this clip here this was actually the day they were born um so this though is registered um i have to double check her paperwork i want to say she's 97 percent registered and uh, she was bred to mooney which is our black dapple buck and uh, as you can see uh, she did have one solid brown dapple or i mean one solid uh, brown which is uh, the one nursing here and then she did have a uh uh, dapple headed buck so both of these ones here were bucks um <clears throat> so going forward um usually what i like to do is i do like to castrate all of my bucks but because i am starting to do registered herd i will let these guys grow out for about another month um, and then depending on how they grow out um, I'll, I'll decide whether i'm going to put a band on them or not um, as you can see here, this brown one was the biggest one. So he was, I haven't weighed him. I didn't weigh him, uh, but he was a little bit bigger than his brother. But both of them are really good, um, especially, obviously, a lot of people like the, the dapple look. Um, so this this dapple, I might leave them um, and see if anyone wants them as a, as a herd sire locally, either commercial or registered. Um, like I said, I, I want to say she's 97, Mooney's 89, so they'll be registered um, somewhere in the in the low 90s, um, maybe maybe 93. I gotta double check check the the paperwork. But you can see here, this guy's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the brown one actually is the one that's a little bit more fight more feistier. He's a he's a, a more food aggressive, so he's growing he's growing the fastest. Uh, so just I want to explain a little bit um, as to what my um, kidding procedures are so when, when my kids or my does kid i let them do everything naturally unless i'm around and i see them do some sort of if i see them um, breached or struggling then i'll intervene but most of my does um, are of age they're big um, and uh, i haven't had any issues so far um, you know knock on wood but so far all of them have been able to, to kid naturally without any assistance and that's kind of what i look for um I don't want any um, interference on my part. Um, I want them to, to kid naturally. And then once they're born naturally, I don't do any additional. Um, I don't dip the nasal and none of that stuff. I don't give them any extra vaccines, any extra vitamins. Um, I let them run their course, uh, let them build their immunity naturally. Obviously, I do make sure that they're, they're well fed, their um, area is clean. Um, I'll, you know, I'll break and, uh, get their, their, uh, droppings out of the wood just to make sure they don't have any, any issues with the bacteria or, or warming. Um, but as far as that, that's, that's the extent of, of what I do. If I do see that the, that the, that the doe is lacking in milk, I'll intervene and, uh, maybe I'll give her a little bit more, um, grain. So right now I do give all my does grain once a week. Um, that's just, everyone kind of gets a little bit of grain just because it, this is, um, they're not free ranging right now since it is winter time. Our, our, um, forage is, is pretty minimal. So everyone does get grain once a week just to kind of supplement. Uh, I don't want them to drop too much weight. Uh, specifically these, these does, I do want them to uh, continue to produce, um, you know, good amount of milk. As you can see here, this, this clip was actually taken a week later. Uh, so here the kids are about a week old, uh, five to six days, I, I, I would say. And uh, you can see they uh, within a week, you can tell uh, there's quite a bit of a difference. Both of these both of these bucklings um, are very friendly, but you can see that the brown one is a little bit bigger. Uh, not by much, uh, but because he came out the womb a little bit bigger and he was a little bit more food aggressive, uh, he is growing out uh, a little bit faster. 
Uh, so both of these bucks are not on our website yet. Like I said, I'm waiting to see whether or not I'm going to put a band on them. Uh, but that brown one uh, is looking really nice. So he might be without, uh, he might be offered as, as a, uh, a breeding, breeding stud. Um, so you can see here, this is where I feed their, their green. Uh, they do get green once a week. Both, both of the bucklings, uh, um, obviously they can eat green, but they, I do let them out to get a little bit of grass that has been growing out. And um, both of them um, are starting to, to grow um, quite a bit. But we'll go through a couple more clips here. Uh, like I said, this is my favorite time of year, especially when the when the babies start coming and you know they got a little bit of color to them. You definitely li like to see them, like to see them progress and and see uh, see how much they're they're growing day by day. As you can see they're they're wandering around. Um, I do try to keep their their closure their enclosure minimal, uh, but they went inside my little uh, uh, shed where I store their, where I store their hay. Um, but they're they're growing out nicely like i said within the next week or two i'll post them up on um on my website goose and boars and um depending on whether i whether i decide to uh, castrate them or not uh, i'll put them up there you guys can see uh, what the availability is and, and pricing for them um, i am local to monterey county so if you guys are within the area um you can uh, send me an email and, and we'll discuss then but I do have one more clip where uh, we'll discuss because um, this this video was taken about another uh, week week prior. So I do have one uh, more updated clip. And then I do have one more doe that she is commercial. So all her kids uh, actually before I get into that, you can see how wide this brown uh, buck is. You can see why I'm excited about him. He is extra wide. He's going to be just like his dad, Mooney. Um, this guy's going to be he's long and he's wide. Uh, so I'm, I'm very excited to what he's going to turn out. You can just you can just look at him. He's a uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be quite wide. But um, like I said, I do have a couple more does that are gonna kid. Uh, my next ones um, are gonna be commercial. Uh, I do have a couple more registered um, that will be coming out, but they're not gonna be due for maybe another month. Uh, all the next ones that are gonna be kidding um, are all gonna be commercial. But um, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. I'll be posting some shorts here uh, pretty soon. But with that. I'll let you guys be. I definitely appreciate you guys uh, stay, sticking with us, uh, watching um, our videos, watching our shorts. And uh, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Comment down below what type of videos uh, you want to see going forward. And uh, once again, don't forget to check out our website, Guzman, Boars, and Angus.com. Um, currently, I, am, uh, up, I will be updating them with availability. And I also have, uh, I will be putting up a couple articles um up there for for you guys to see how how we uh, raise our herd but with that thank you guys for watching and uh, this last clip is going to be the doe that just kitted um so stay up to date or, or uh, uh, uh don't forget to subscribe and I'll, uh, I'll get you guys updated on that within the next video thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one appreciate it